Good day, everyone. We have scheduled this meeting for today so that we may have a conversation regarding the upcoming sporting event that we will be participating in. Hello, everyone. I am Mikael Lake of Kutch, and I am the class president of grade 11 Panic Bank. So for our meeting, we will discuss the details and also for you to suggest and agree to details. So the facilitators agreed to have a basketball charity we also already have the event name, which the playbook movement. Our tagline, use the ball for constructive course. For our event location is at Escuela de Sofia Basketball Court. Our target event date, July 13 to 15, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Our organization, Hora Hora Panagbena. For our document last updated, we have May 12, 2022. So, uh, mayroon suggestions po ba kayo for our um, event name, tagline, event location po? Open for suggestions po kami. Sino pong gusto mag-suggest? Miss Lexi po, may suggestion po ba kayo for today? Um, suggestion ko po sa organization. We can coordinate for us for the assistance po sa mga existing organizations sa LG po. Specifically po yung, ano, yung Entrepreneur Society at Athletes Council po. Oh, it's a good idea kung may kipag-collab tayo sa, siguro sa ibang organization para hindi lang tayo yung uh, magtutulong-tulong o hindi lang tayo magti-teamwork sa event na to. May makakasama pa tayong ibang um, organization. Agree ba tayo doon? Sino anong ulit na um organ yung isasama natin dito sa organization? Yung young young entrepreneurship society po at athletes council po. Okay. Okay. Society and athletes It's a good idea na mag-ano tayo, mag-share tayo ng um, organization sa iba pang org para hindi tayo may hirapan if tayo lang yung mag-organize ng event na to. So, any suggestions pa po? Baka po meron po po yung ibang suggestions para sa event. Pwede po mag-reason yung may mga suggestion po sa atin. Ayan, si Miss Tapia po may suggestion. About po sa event date, can we move it to July para mas madaming students ang makasali sa event na to? Actually, pwede siyang maging July din since mas okay nga yun. Mas, summer na yung July, di ba? Mas okay siguro if gawin natin siyang July kasi para mas madami siyang participants nga siguro. Agree ba kayo doon if gawin natin siyang July? Yung Mas maganda. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ayan. Move tayo sa, ano, sa event details. Um, for our event details, po, okay, uh, may I call on Ms. Cassandra po to discuss our event details? For the basic details of the event, we have what is the importance of organizing sport events for a target health issue in this turning point of the century where technology serves as a linchpin between society and expected activities Filipino people are becoming more physically inactive and are spending more time in front of their screens. So much so that in 2019, a research by the World Health Organization deemed the Philippines as the second country in the world with the most physically inactive population, gaining an overall physical inactivity prevalence of 93.4%, although the research study attributed the issue to the frequent use of gadgets. 
it is believed that the lack of safe, safe space and environment in which people can do their physical activity is a huge factor. Fortunately, solution can be made regarding this issue, such as providing a safe space and environment for physical activities, a comprehensive education, and creating a small community of enthusiasts, all of which can be achieved through organizing a sport event. With sport events, organ organizer can produce a venue capable of accommodating large number of of participants creating a community and educating them at the same time. Through these activities, they can ensure a community of healthy individuals that would eventually share their knowledge and habit and form a community of their own. How do we organize a sports event? In organizing this sports event, Panagbenga takes considerable preparation organization, and fundamental knowledge of the activity itself. A lot goes into putting this event successful from planning, choosing a suitable venue, and organizing both preparations and arrangement on the time of the event. In lining out this event, first thing that we did is making an event plan through the use of media platforms to communicate with one another. Making a detailed help plan helps us because it is the launching point of our entire event. So we can make sure that it covers the right fundamentals, such as the event goals or objectives, individual roles and responsibilities, estimated number of participants, budget, date of event, event location, length of time, example, one day, a few days, a week, and so on, potential sponsors, and lastly, equipment needed in the event. May I call on Ms. Lorraine to discuss our purpose and objective. So for our pur purpose, po, uh, the event is a basketball charity po, with the purpose of developing and building good sport sportsmanship among athletes and also to enhance individuals' knowledge of the said sport and share the benefits of the sport to the audiences. Po. The event will also be implemented with the following objectives, which is to build a charity program using the sport of basketball, to promote healthy lifestyle using the sport, and to give enjoyment to the athletes and audience in sport. Our target participants is junior high school, grade 9 and 10 only, and senior high school students. How many people will attend? Estimated of 100 players, Estimated of 100 companions, parents, guardians, relatives, and needy friends depending on COVID situation. Estimated number of attendees is 400. Estimated budget for the event is 15,000. Our sponsors will be Milo and Pocaris. Is it ticketed? Yes. Is there an entrance charge? If so, how much? Yes, 80 pesos per person. What type of audience will the event attract? Parents, relatives, friends, and Etsy students. Do you have any suggestions? Yeah, Miss Chiwelpo, I think, has a suggestion. Um, regarding po dun sa uh, entrance fee po, I suggest po na mas babaan po natin siya. Instead of 80 pesos, gawin po natin siya uh, 60 pesos since it is more affordable and budget friendly. Uh, in that way, uh, mas makaka-attract tayo ng mas maraming participants or attendees po. Um, agree na po ba ang lahat kung sa 60 pesos per person? Lalo na kasi ano eh, ang target audience natin is EDC students. Agree na po lahat? Yes po. Yes po. Yes, please. Yes, Proceed na po tayo sa event timetable.
For our event timetable, this section highlights the main operational timings for the event. For our arrival time for event organizer, for our first day, Wednesday, 6 a.m., second day, Thursday, 1 p.m., third day, which is Friday, 2 p.m., for our arrival time for suppliers and equipment, we have requests will be asked to the EDC administration for usage of the basketball equipment. For food suppliers, um, arrival time 11 a.m. For setup times, equipment checklist, event setup, and sound and technology, check is 6.20 a.m. Cool down and self-preparation for the staff is 7.30 a.m. For our, for our event start time, we have first day, 8.30 a.m. For our second day, we have 2.30 p.m. For our third day, we have 2.30 p.m. For our event end time, first day, we have 4 p.m. Then second day, mag-end po tayo ng 6 p.m. Then lastly, third day, uh, mag-end tayo for 5 p.m. Uh, proceed po tayo sa event the, program. Proceeding to the event program, uh, I will discuss po the plan or the key activities and timings for our event. Uh, since we have a three-day event, um, uh, let's, uh, let me first uh, discuss po um, the first day, which is will be uh, Wednesday or the elimination round. So for 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. will be the assembly of teams, uh, call time and line up. And for 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. will be the parade of teams along with their banner to line up in front of the stage. 9 to 9.03 a.m. will be the, the singing of Lupang Hinirang. And 9.03 to 9.05 a.m. will be the opening prayer which, uh, will be the which is the participants will be everyone. Then for uh, 9.05 to 9.20 a.m. we'll have a speech, a, motiva a motivational speech from Coach June. And uh, and a from a sp professional speaker. Then for 9:20 a.m. to 9:30 a.m. will be an intermission number from a group from a dance group, Cadiz of Dance, will be led, which is uh, will be led by Dan Ingana, Kimberly Teresa, and Shanti Ancheta. Then next will be 9:30 to 9:40 a.m. We have a, bre a break or rest, which is for everyone. Then 9:40 uh, a.m. to 9. Uh, to 10:40 a.m., I will have our first game, which uh, which will have the team A and versus the team B. Then 10:40 a.m. to 11 a.m., we have another break for the players and for everyone. Then we proceed to the next game for 11 to 12 p.m. Uh, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. for the second game, uh, which will have the team C and team D. Then after that, we'll have uh, from 12 uh, p.m. to 1 p.m. We'll have a lunch break at the same time, the preparation for the third game. Uh, for 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., we'll have the third game, which uh, will have the Team E uh, versus Team F. Then next, uh, 2 p.m. to 2.30 to p.m., we'll have another break, another rest for everyone. Then 2.30 uh, p.m. to 3.30 p.m., we'll have the fourth game which will have the team G versus the team H. Then for lastly, we have 3.30 p.m. to 4 p.m., which, uh, which will be our pack-up time uh, that will be allotted for the staff. Uh, do you have any suggestions po, opinions or comments po for the plan for the first day? Yes, Mr. Trillias po. For the speech po, I think we can also put here po si, ano, si Mr. Richard Todok po, EDC coach. Ah, yes. Maganda yung suggestions na, ano, na maglagay pa tayo ng isa pang coach, hindi lang si Coach June, para meron pa tayong another coach para sa event natin. Si, Ms. si Coach, i-add natin si Coach Richard Todok para sa another coach natin. Baka may another suggestions pa kayo para sa section na to for the event. May suggestions pa po ba? To continue our meeting, we go proceed to second date.
Good evening. For the second day, Thursday, it is our semis. Um, the starting time would be the assembly, assembly of things. Our call time and preparation would start on 2.30 p.m. up to 3 o'clock p.m. Um, who is involved? Everyone. For 3 o'clock p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m., it will be our first day. And the winning, the first winning team will, will play the first game. Um, 4 o'clock p.m. to 4.20 p.m. will be our rest. And it is for everyone. And 4.20 p.m. to 5.20 p.m. will be the second game, of course. The one who play will be second winning team. And for the last schedule would be 5.20 p.m. up to 6 o'clock p.m. And it will be our stock-up time. Is there any question regarding the schedule for our second day? Thank you. And so far naman for, for the questions. Um, we will proceed to third day po, the final round, which is on Friday. So for our third day or our final round, which is on Friday, the time is 2.30 p.m. up to 3 o'clock p.m., which will be the assembly of teams or call time and preparation, which is everyone is involved. In 3 o'clock p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. is a championship game which involved the two winning teams. 4 o'clock p.m. to 4.20 p.m. is the awarding or the announcement of winners, which is team A to H. 4.20 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. is the closing remarks by Coach June Estrellas. Lastly, for 4.30 p.m. up to 5 o'clock p.m. is a pack-up time, which is involved all the staffs. So, there are any, so are there any suggestions or Questions? May I call on Noreen to proceed for our um, committee? So for the committee of this event, Paul, we already appointed people. So Ms. Mr. Eman will be volunteer subcommittee. Um, Hamir Kelly will be committee for publicity. Mr. Lysander will also be food subcommittee. And Simon George will be vo volunteer subcommittee. Uh, Mr. Oris Kai will be event chair announcement committee and meetings committee. Mr. John Paul will be with ground and equipment committee. Mr. Gina will be decorating subcommittee. Gumangan will be ground and equipment committee also, also with U1 and ground and equipment committee together with documentation committee. Mr. Lacuesta will be decorating subcommittee. Makandog will be announcement committee, also Mr. Maliari. And Mr. Maravilla will be committee for publicity. Mendoza will be decorating subcommittee. Galex will be food sub committee, Mr. Stephen will be fundraising committee, and Flandes will be ground and equipment committee, while Mr. Kyle will, Kyle Rodriguez will be volunteer subcommittee, Mr. Benedict Salonga will be ground and equipment committee, and Mr. Erin will be committee for publicity, while Ford Sullivan will be volunteer subcommittee. Mr. Trillias will be funding subcommittee and also documentation committee. Ryosha Utsumi will be ground and equipment committee. Mr. Velasquez will be volunteer subcommittee. And Ms. Kyla Alakia will be event chair announcement committee and meetings committee. Ms. Ashanti will be marketing com committee, documentation committee, and entertainment committee. The next one, Ms. Lexi D. Bautista for Fundraising Committee and Documentation Committee. Ms. Angel Zandi Bisnar. Ms. Balitor is on the book. Wala pa. For um, Ms. Marielin Balitar for 
food subcommittee, Ms. Lexi B. Bautista for fundraising committee and documentation committee, Ms. Angel Zandivis Nar for announcement committee, Altea Sofia, Sofia Buenabiles for volunteer subcommittee, Jessica Rain E. Carillo for announcement committee, Ms. Kimberly J. Cerezo for marketing committee and entertainment committee, for Ms. Journey Macy Dagoop, funding subcommittee, Ms. Kiara May Dicena for announcement committee, Ms. Tisha May De La Cruz for committee for publicity, documentation committee, Ms. Jewel Jane De Guzman, marketing committee, Ms. Daniela Eve M. Duarte, decorating subcommittee, for Ravina Venus Africa Ebina for volunteer subcommittee, Ms. Diane Rose and in Ghana, Ground and Equipment Committee and Entertainment Committee. Ms. Lorraine May Jody G. Galos, Finance Committee, Meetings Committee, Documentation Committee. For Altea Joan Gatanela, Food Subcommittee. Ms. Michaela Cruz, Event Chair, Meetings Committee, Documentation Committee. Ms. Kristen Iza Paliza Javier, Volunteer Subcommittee. Ms. Juliana Faith Lazo, Committee for Publicity. Ms. Christ May C. Magante, De Decorating Subcommittee. For Ms. Juliana MLZ Manarang, Food Subcommittee, Decorating Subcommittee. For Ms. Christine Cassandra Mantal, Volunteer Subcommittee. For Ms. Divine Mission, Ground and Equipment Committee and Documentation Committee. For Ms. Mayra Luis Orjalo, Volunteer and Subcommittee. For Ms. Madeleine Rose Peralta, Marketing Committee. For Ms. Riza M. Rivera, Decorating Subcommittee, Meetings Committee and Documentation Committee. For Ms. Claudia Beatriz Eceva, Committee for Publicity. Ms. Juliana Marie C. Tapia, Food Committee and Meetings Committee. For Ms. Cassandra L. Villajos, Volunteer Subcommittee. And lastly, Ms. Adana Lane Ann, A. Villaraza for Decorating Subcommittee. So um, this will be the last um, discussion about the our event po. Um, yun po yung lahat na mag-guide for the event together with the Young and Trapper Society and Outlets Council po. Yun po yung magiging event namin. Again, our event name is Playbook Movement. Our tagline is Use the Ball for Constructive Cause. That's all po. Um, may I know po kung meron po po kayong um, questions or clarification and suggestions po para po sa event. Meron pa po ba kayong um, suggestions or mga tanong po para po sa magiging event po natin na mangyayari. Ayun, mukha namang um, wala so ng far mga... And so far po. Ayun, mukha naman. namang mga wala ng tanong. Um, that's all po for um, today um, meeting po. Thank you po for attending our meeting for our upcoming event which is the playbook movement thank you